guys, and welcome to our next chat that we're going to be having. Um, today, I've got a, an old friend of mine that I've, I've brought on. He used to work with me at the Pixel Foundry. He was into photography, and he's now doing something completely different and has gone off and done different things. So I just wanted to chat to him and find out why he's done something different, um, how he's got into what he, what he has got into, and what's really interesting is how he's built a brand um, or taken a brand and, and, and built it in South Africa. Um, it's, it's an international brand, but he's going to tell us a bit more about that. So I've got Jared Hartman here. So Jared, tell me, How's it, last time, How's it going? <laughs> yeah, good man. I think the last time we saw each other, you were playing the fool in my studio as per normal. Um, I was you're, indeed. You're, 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 you're working guy. Um, <laughs> but from there you left and you went and did something completely different. And again, you're doing something different. Just tell us a little bit about from your days when you were working as an assistant and then gone on to do different things. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, so um, when I came to you guys at the Pixel Foundry, um, I think I was yeah just out of school, came back from the UK, and I did a bit of photography on the cruise ships. Um, so um, I got myself obviously um, you know eager to learn a little bit more. So I came to to Cape Town and started working with you guys. I think I worked with you guys for two years, two and a bit years, okay. um, and worked with some of the best uh, photographers in in South Africa and internationally. Um, and I learned a hell of a lot. Um, and then, then I decided to move um, onto something new. I mean, photography for me was, it, it still is a big passion, but it's, it's a difficult industry to get into um, professionally and make money. So I realized I'm probably not at that level. Um, it's more of a passion for me. And, and you know, I took some, some amazing photographs while I was with you guys um, and still do. Um, and then I decided to work on the super yachts. Um, did that for six years. Um, that kind of changed my life, obviously, from being abroad, meeting people, traveling, um, you know, seeing different things in the world and then coming back um, two and a half years ago. Um, and then, yeah, I started, started working for my brother at Inter-Africa Distribution. We obviously hold the rights for Stasher, uh, which is the product we're going to talk about today. So yeah. that's kind of my journey in a, in a short in a nutshell. Yeah, there must yeah. Been, must, it must have been a lot you must have learned at that time being on the yachts. It must have been a lot of fun. I mean, you must have come across some real characters. Um, oh, geez, yeah, I mean, working with, um, you know, all kinds of nationalities, characters, uh, the rich, the famous. I've, you know, I've met some, some very famous people and worked for them. Um, and also, but I mean, where we come to, to you know, obviously bringing a product that's, that's sustainable. Um, on the yachts, you know, you can imagine how much food waste, uh, plastic waste, you know, just basically um, it, on a daily basis, um, I saw it. Um, and it's, it's quite saddening, actually. And you, you can imagine how many boats are out there um, doing the same thing. So it kind of got me thinking, you know, how is this affecting our planet? How is this affecting our environment? How is this affecting our future? So that's obviously quite an important thing to you is, is the yeah. environment and, 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 and what's happening out there. Yeah, I mean, growing up surfing and, and, you know, when you go to Musenberg every now and again, you see plastic floating in the ocean and, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a massive hit on the marine life and, and just, you know, generally. So, yeah, it's quite... Yeah, yeah it's quite, quite it's devastating. Fun. So, you, you've, yeah. got this, you've got this brand and, and the reason I think, guys, why, I've, why I'm chatting to Jared today is, is that we can all talk about um, what we're doing in our creative fields and, and how we're doing things and we're working with brands. But it's, I think it's really nice to bring on um, and talk to people who are actually promoting brands, especially young guys who are going out there and actually bringing new brands in and making a difference. And I think that's why I really wanted to chat to Jared about what he's doing. And so, Jared, just tell us a little bit, just give us a little bit of background about what Stasha actually is and, 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 and the, a bit about the product. Yeah, sure. So um, Stasha was founded in the US uh, by a lady called Kat Nuri. We can do anything when we all do something. I started Stasher because I wanted to eliminate plastic waste. This was something that was directly related to the fact that I wanted my kids to have a brighter future. Um, and she, yeah, she um, came from a healthy background, um, obviously always very conscious about what she's purchasing. Um, and she obviously reading in, you know, products, plastic packaging, things like this, uh, she, she thought to herself, there must be a more sustainable product out there that you can either purchase or make or anything like that. Um, and she, her vision was obviously to secure a, a better future for her children because the U.S. is probably, well, it, it, they, they, they obviously one of the biggest in waste, plastic waste. When you throw things away, they don't actually go away. They go to landfill, they end up in the ocean, um, they still end up in our environment. I think it can be overwhelming. Um, 
And um, so she came up with this concept, Stasha. It's made out of platinum food grade silicone. So it's basically made out of um, sand, carbon, and heat. So it's very similar to, to, um, to glass. glass. So it's, yeah, yeah. it's commonly referred to as soft glass. Um, and it's got the durability of plastic, but it's fully, re uh, fully reusable, fully recyclable, um, and, and obviously doesn't hold any plastic byproducts or petroleums or anything like that. So, yeah, so basically, um, when I started working for Inter-Africa Distribution, we want to bring in a product or I want to bring in a product that's more sustainable. Um, and that obviously is something hasn't been introduced into the market in South Africa just yet. So, um, so we came across Stasha, we got in touch with the guys internationally, um, and they were obviously looking for the right distributor in South Africa. Um, and yeah, I got in touch with them and, um, yeah. And then we, we brought the product in, uh, just under two years ago. Okay. And, and just within um, building their, their, their brand identity and, and that in the States and just how, 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 how's that, have you been able to incorporate that here or just tell us a little bit about the brand identity and maybe what you've had to do to change it into the local market? Yeah. So I think, um, from just what I've seen, uh, building the brand in South Africa, our market's a lot uh, I would say it's, it's behind, obviously, with when it comes to retail, comes to online shopping, comes to, you know, um, uh, new products and things like that. So it has been a little bit um, of a change of how they did it in the US. Um, I think in the US, it became such a phenomenon because everyone wanted a stash of bag. It was this new cool thing. It became a very um, powerful life, lifestyle product as well. Um, for kids at school, everyone wanted a stash of bag. So they built their brand. Um, quite quickly. Um. It's just so many different people. I'm personally trying to save all of the plastic that's entering our waste stream. Prism. So they started in 2016 and by 2018 it was, you know, they were doing very, very well. Um, but obviously with the US market, South Africa, because, you know, stash is a mid to high end product and pricing is very important for the South Africa market. Yeah. Um, obviously with the dollar fluctuations, it's very difficult to price something within the South Africa market that people are actually able to purchase. So that was obviously where we had to change um, our tactics and our marketing was, you know, more led from the beginning. It was more led towards um, building a brand that, you know, we, we aligned it with our ethos, which is plastic free. So we, we did a lot of beach cleanups, a lot of, um, environmentally like awareness and things like that yeah. through a lot of NGOs and collaborations with the guys that we work with now. The first step is to remove the insides. That's plastic. That's gross. That's why it's always good to have a second fish. The desire to escape. It's in every one of us. Why wait? Relax, revitalize, recharge at the Rainbow Shores Pacific Gyre, the finest way to experience Earth's floating island. Indulge in breathtaking ocean views. Touch, feel, and smell authentic history on the world's most colorful beach. So who, who, have, you, who have you actually worked with? What, what different, um, have you had um, design companies or uh, you say NGOs that you work with? Can you tell us a little yeah. about them? Yeah, so we, um, we started um, doing, obviously, joining beach cleanups, um, and then we got in contact with a few of the guys like Oceana Redens, um, and uh, see the bigger picture, the beach co-op, Future Kids Club, there's probably about 12 to 15 that we've worked with. And what we would do as a brand, um, we would obviously uh, put these beach cleanups out there, and we would uh, put it out on our social media, um, obviously, to follow where we do beach cleanups, and we would enter... Um, like prizes at the end of the beach cleanup. So at the end of it, we'd all get together um, and Stasha would, uh, you know, obviously talk about the product a little bit and then give prizes out. Um, and I think for us locally, that was quite an important way of um, building brand rapport with people because they could see, you know, that Stasha's obviously, we, we stand behind what we believe. Did you miss your chance to see the world's last penguin in September? Don't let that happen with the majestic dolphin. Meet Oscar, Earth's last dolphin while he's still here. This month only at the Museum of Natural Bi- Hormone disruption from petroleum-based plastics is not uncommon for women your age. So I, I can't have a baby.
human um, and our product is something that actually will make a change. So, yeah, and then obviously collaborations with, you know, Clean Canteen is another cool brand, which is reusable. So anything along the lines of what we stand for, we collaborate with brands like that. Yeah. So that collaboration is, a, is, is obviously a very important way Powerful. of you guys, yeah. which is, yeah, I suppose it's people telling people and that at the end of the day, I think is the most um, powerful marketing method. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. So social media must be quite a, a large part of what you're doing then as well. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we're very lucky to have, um, obviously, um, content created from the US because they're permanently going and going and going. Um, the goal isn't perfection. It's just start with one thing. Start small. Small changes. Just pick one thing at a time and pick the thing that interests you the most or feels exciting or feels fun. Save what matters. Um, and then we've obviously done a few photo shoots, stylized it to um, a South Africa market with, you know, the waterfront, Nelson Mandela. Um, you know, uh, um, in the background, obviously, with the so at Robin Island, we've done a few cleanups there with the beach cop, which was quite cool. And we, we obviously create content when we're there at the beach cleanup um, or in an environmentally, um, you know, day or thing like that. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's been really cool. It's been nice to see how South Africans have taken to a product like this and you get your, um, you get your eco stasher warriors who, you know, like just love the product and they're posting photos and things like that. So, that's how you build. I think especially in a, um, uh, a market like South Africa, that's how you've got to build your brand up slowly. Now, that, that, the, the particular product itself, yeah, um, does it have a lifespan or can you, is it sort of? So it's endlessly like, reusable if you look after it. Okay. And it can yeah. go into all temperatures. So you use it in your fridge. You can use it to a exactly, yeah. school bag and, and, and move around. Yeah, so... Yeah, so it's a, it's a multi-purpose um, storage bag with the functions of cooking. So freezer, fridge, sous vide, stovetop, oven, microwave. So, you know, once you buy one bag, it's kind of like, you know, you don't really need anything else. Does it come in different sizes? Different? Um... Yeah, yeah. So they come in four different sizes. You get the snack, which is nice for your trail mixes. And you can put your cell phone because it's completely airtight. It's got a patented airlock seal. So if you're going camping or, you know, to the beach, it's not going to get wet. You've got your sandwich, which is for kids' lunches and things like that, or, you know, smoothie storage in the freezer. Um, and then your half gallon, if you want to sous vide something, put in a half gallon bag chicken. Um, and then you've got your stand-up, which is more for your dry goods and soups and things like that. Yeah. It sounds awesome. There must be so many brands. I'm just thinking, and it's a, one of the interests of bringing you on here as well, because chatting to the collaborators, I'm sure there must be a lot of people, and I know a lot of us are very concerned about the environment. But, yeah. uh, I've just seen some of those images where you've got, just oceans just full of plastic um, which is yeah frightening. i mean it's scary it's never going to go away um, and it's an interesting thing on the cost price because uh, on the cost perspective if, if it's lasting that long and it's doing you know what you're saying over a long period yeah. of time the price actually must actually be reasonable then because you're not having For to sure. rebuy or you're not having to reuse it's washable it's exactly. reusable, and so the price point of people think of it shouldn't be that that excessive, so we definitely yeah. have to get a few in our household. Yeah, uh, definitely. <laughs> but it's um, and and tell me the the international market. Do they understand that it, that the product is going to be different in in a local market in, in say a market like South Africa? Have they adapted for you guys at all, or is it? Yeah, so different? we. I mean, we we've been quite lucky. Um, Stasha International. They. They are very open-minded, which has been a great up because you get a lot of brands where, you know, everything is done by the book and how they do it is how you do it yeah. anywhere in the world. And, um, I mean, obviously through conversations that we've had and, and meetings, um, you know, they, they, they completely understand that our market is completely different to, to the U.S., Europe, uh, Asia, all that kind of stuff. Um, so they've been very helpful um, to allow us to, uh, you know, kind of take our own direction in a sense um, while still keeping in alignment with them. But um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it is, as you say, it's not something that, uh, yeah, you know, you can just bring in and expect it to go and people to buy. It's, it's, a, it's a slow process. Yeah, no, I, I can imagine. And um, yeah, it must be quite difficult for yourself taking on a brand like that where, where it is a very high end and especially in the times that we are in now. Do you, do you see the way you're actually marketing at the moment and the way or way you've been doing things before and now after this COVID period, you know, a lot of more people have been online, as you were saying earlier. Um, yeah. Do you think you're maybe going to change your focus a little bit onto 
on the way you yeah, went, the way you came forward? Yeah, so I mean, we obviously we had our brick and mortar stores, which were shut down for a month and a half um, and weren't able to sell like, you know, like at home wellness warehouse, they could sell food, food, uh, f- um, like necessities, food and stuff like that. But anything else wasn't, you know, they weren't able to sell. But a lot of our online stores were doing quite well because now people have time to research products. So they yeah. might have heard about Stasha, you get your buyer's journey and they will do a bit of research. Now they've got time. And as you say about the pricing, it's, um, uh, it's not that much money when you've got a product that's going to last, last you a lifetime. Yeah, um, and the many uses it has. So once you understand that concept, then it you know becomes a little bit easier. Um, but yeah, I mean the, the the lockdown did did obviously take a bit of a knock, but then we re- we saw a lot of um, um, a lot more people buy purchasing online, which was quite nice to see. Yeah. And do you do you always do everything through? Uh, you don't do it yourself. Do you do you always promote it through different um, outlets? Yeah, so we have, I mean, we've, we've, we've had a, a lot more interest in the product now from online stores because a lot of our um, zero waste retailers have actually just gone online because they couldn't keep up with, it, with obviously, the COVID-19 and costs. Um, so online is obviously the, the it's going to be the future. We as South Africans are a little bit behind with online shopping. Um, I think a little, maybe it's, uh, I don't know, fear or we like to test the products or whatever the case may be. But I think, you know, in time it's going to be, it's going to be something that's going to be a lot more um, utilized. Yeah, no, absolutely. And, yeah. and yeah, just, I was thinking about this and I was thinking, you know, when you first spoke to me and, and we were just, we were discussing what you're doing and I, I just really love the product for me and the environment is terribly important. I think yeah. what we've been doing and the way we've been acting as a, yeah, as a general population worldwide is it, it leaves a lot to be desired. Uh, yeah and the wastage that we have. So I, I was quite excited about that product and I thought, gee, that's why I'd love to chat to you and it's a new product and it's something that you're trying to build into the South African market. Yeah. Are you open to other people coming in with ideas and forming co- collaborations with you? Because that's what I'm trying to achieve on this. this yeah. So Look, I mean, it's been, when I started, uh, when we brought Stasha in um, two years ago, it, it, the most amazing thing has been the journey. And the people that we've met from NGOs to um, the guy that started doing our marketing in the beginning, Brett from Roll the Bones, and he's got his own little agency. um, And the people that we've met collaborating and other brands that align with us. And, you know, obviously for me, we've got websites, we've got content, we've got blogs, we've got, um, you know, collaborations and, and, and massive campaigns that we roll out like Plastic Free July. So, you know, we need obviously as a brand and as a product, people with insight and ideas to say, hey, you know, I've, a, I've got a great idea. Let's maybe try this because, you know, I love the product. And we like to work with people who, who also have the same feeling about the environment that we do um, and that align with it. But it, it's very important to have people, um, you know, from different walks of life and especially marketing and, and things like that. Um, that's how we've grown. So, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Because it's just something and just all, 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 the, all the people out there in, in the collaborators and who, who've been doing stuff and a lot of you have come, yeah. come forward um, with great suggestions and we're trying to get things going. I mean, here's, yeah. here's a nice opportunity to find something that I think um, will, what's the word I'm trying to think of, that we, we can understand and appreciate as something that we'd really like to get involved in. So if any of yeah. you guys have got any ideas, I mean, please write your comments. Jared would, would, would love to hear Yeah, I'd love you. to hear them, for sure. Yeah, and, and just see if there's anything that we can do to help help promote and, and get, get the environment and into, into a better shape because it's, it's yeah. not in a good shape at the moment. And uh, yeah. I, I mean, that's what I've... I've really enjoyed about watching your collaborators videos is because you've got different people from everywhere yeah. and um, you know, they all align. It's one big circle. It's like, you know, it's uh, absolutely. And I think, you know, it's, it's interesting you say that Jared, it's, it's, it's what I've always believed. I think we, we for so long have said, you know, we are creatives. I'm a lawyer. I'm a doctor. Yeah, I'm, yeah. A this, I'm a that. And you know, nobody can do anything without the other one. We, we need exactly. everybody. And so you need, need to, to pull the link in the chain. <laughs> and, and so I didn't yeah. want this just to be about, you know, another photographer and I want them obviously on there or another designer or another, yeah. you know, creative exec or whoever. And they've all just come forward with the most amazing um, knowledge and ideas and everything. Yeah. We need to see it from all sides. And I think, um, that's the idea of collaboration is, is to sure, see yeah. where all the different where all the different pieces of the puzzle fit, fit together exactly and, yeah and, and and do and, and do stuff which is which is really awesome 
Yeah. And so now, for, if somebody wants to get hold of Stasha, where where can where can they where can they go? So we so you can visit our online store um, stashabag.co.za, um, but we in and then you can find your store locator on our on our web page. Right. Right. Um, so we have um, I can't tell you off offhand, but we have a lot of online stores. We have a lot of um, zero waste stores around South Africa. Um, we also in Namibia, Kenya, um, and so yeah, you can find all of our information on there. Um, and also through our social media, um, Stasha Bag underscore SA and Facebook Stasha Bag SA. Awesome. Yeah, look, yeah. I mean, Jared, it's, it's, it's so interesting to see what you're doing. And I, you know, just thinking back to the early days where yeah. you know, this guy running around helping us out on shoots and making a few <laughs> Making time. coffee and yeah. just yeah. nonstop talking. <laughs> and, and, it's, and it's so great to see how, how your journey has evolved and, and how it's changed. I and, it, and that, that, that that you've suddenly seen different things and seen different opportunities. And I, yeah. and I think it's really exciting. I mean, it must yeah, be for you as well. I mean, it's, yeah, it's no, I mean, it, life has led me in the path and, you know, kind of these opportunities come and, and, you know, you know how it goes. Yeah, absolutely. And I think, yeah. I think it's so important for us all to learn that um, going forward, that you don't have to be what you thought you were going to start it out to be, you know, you yeah. can change and you can, you can do different yeah. things and, you can, yeah, there's so many things. And, and I think now there's more opportunities than they ever have been. And I think it's far easier. Yeah. Of today for future generations to come. Saving what matters is saving food because it's essential to life. I'm saving the future for my kids. Helping you save the future for your kids. I'm saving the animals. I think one of the beautiful things about life and about this earth is that everything's connected. It's connected in tiny little ways and we need it all. And when we all work together, 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 amazing things happen. Amazing things happen. Amazing things happen. All it takes is one. One good call. One day at a time. We all have something to give. To save, to protect. We all have our reasons and they all count. We can all save what matters. Save what matters. Save what matters. Save what matters.